గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు శరచంద్ర ఐఏఎస్ అకాడమీ డైలీ కరెంట్ అఫేర్స్ అనాలిసిస్ ఫర్ ద డేట్ ఆఫ్ ట్వంటీ నైన్త్ ఏప్రిల్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ టూ ద మేజర్ టాపిక్స్ విచ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ టుడే ఆర్ డీటెయిల్స్ అబౌట్ ద గ్రావిటేషనల్ లెన్సింగ్ సెకండ్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ద నాసాస్ లూసీ మిషన్ థర్డ్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ డీటెయిల్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇంటర్నేషనల్ ఫైనాన్స్ కార్పొరేషన్ ఫోర్త్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ రివర్ ర్యాంచింగ్ ఫిఫ్త్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ద వెపన్స్ సమిత్ ఫర్ ఉక్రెయిన్ హోస్టెడ్ బై యుఎస్ఏ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద ఫైవ్ టాపిక్స్ ఫర్ ద టుడే కమింగ్ టు ద ఫైవ్ ఫస్ట్ టాపిక్ డీటెయిల్స్ ఆఫ్ గ్రావిటేషనల్ లెన్సింగ్ ఓకే ద కాంటెక్స్ట్ ఈజ్ ద హిందూస్ సైన్స్ ఫర్ ఆల్ హిందూస్ సైన్స్ ఫర్ ఆల్ న్యూస్ లెటర్ ఇంక్లూడ్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ ఆర్టికల్ సో దిస్ పర్టికులర్ ఆర్టికల్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ మెన్షన్ బై ది హిందూస్ ఓకే ద హిందూ పేపర్స్ న్యూస్ పేపర్ సైన్స్ ఫర్ ఆల్ న్యూస్ లెటర్స్ సో దట్ ద రీజన్ బై వీ ఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ దిస్ గ్రావిటేషనల్ లెన్సింగ్ ఓకే సో ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ మీన్ బై గ్రావిటేషనల్ లెన్సింగ్ యూ మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ అన్ బేసిక్ ఐడియా అబౌట్ వాట్ ఈస్ లెన్స్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ అ ఫెనామినా ఇంక్లూడెడ్ ఇన్ లెన్స్ రైట్ సో ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ లెన్స్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ ఇట్ వెరీ Uh, it is easy to understand that is generally we have lens so the when a light ray passes through the lens when the light ray passes through the lens so there are types of lenses this is known as convex lens so you have concave lens as well like this okay so you, concave the le- shape of lens of concave is like this so the shape of this is a convex lens or as as the two surfaces are convex this is convex this are by concave lens by convex lens but whatever so before uh, going into the topics of gravitational lensing let us understand what is the concept of lens in light so when light passes through the lens so it will bend okay it will bend so when the light passes through the lens it will bend means instead of going in this straight line it will bend okay so here even it is in the case of concave okay so this is same in the case of concave as well so they will bend so the light rays will bend when they pass through any lens okay that is so that is how we could able to either converge the light rays or diverge the light rays okay either converging or diverging generally if you want to diverge the light rays then we use the by concave lens if you want to converge the light rays we use by convex lens so generally by converging different light rays can be brought together instead of going like for example these parallel rays are there the, all those parallel rays will come together okay that is converging lens whereas in case of diverging lens we use the this lens to diverge the light that means they will after the exiting they will diverge okay okay here this is a converging lens where our parallel light uh, not only parallel whatever the light rays which come on to this lines will converge towards the principal axis whereas here they will diverge away from the principal axis generally uh, the humans face the problem of eyesight okay we face the problem of eyesight so when we face the problem of eyesight we use the lens spectacles we use the glasses which are made of either convex or concave if you have short sightedness then we use the convex lens if you have long sightedness then we use the concave lens if you have both the sight means you can't read the very near as well as very far then a combination of concave and convex lens are used okay so if you couldn't see the distance object then con cave lens are used if you couldn't see the shorter distances object then uh, sorry if you couldn't see the longer then concave lens are used convex lens are used if you couldn't see the shorter nearer objects then the this one convex cave lens are used okay uh, pardon uh, so so the fact you need to understand here is the lensing okay the phenomena of lensing is refracting the light ray what is the reason for this bending of light ray refraction so when a light ray is traveling in a straight line 
if the medium changes that means from the air medium it is entering into the glass medium that is rarer to denser so as the medium changes the density changes the light ray will bend okay so this is the phenomena involved in the lens case that means whenever a light ray is traveling in a straight line if the medium changes then the light ray bends okay because of the change of the densities now coming to gravitational concept gravitational lensing concept here here we are using a glass material in order to bend the light rays whereas in the gravitational concept the gravitational force of a huge body is acting as the lens that means is responsible for bending of the light rays okay i hope you understand it very clearly here in generally in the case of lens we use a glass material and we change the density of the medium from the air medium denser medium glass medium so then the bending of light occurs right so because of change of medium change of the density of the medium whereas in case of gravitational lensing there is a, uh, there is bending of light same as in the case of lenses but here the reason is not the change of the medium but because of the gravitation of a huge body i hope you understand so if you see the points einstein's general theory of relativity says that mass bending of the lights mass bend means, means if there is a huge mass huge mass heavy mass uh, which has a great you know that the gravitational force is directly proportional to the mass as the mass increases the gravitational force also increases so that's the reason if there is a mass okay if there is a mass a object having uh, heavy mass then the gravitational force of this mass could able to bend the light resulting in the gravitational lensing okay so due to this gravitational field of the massive object so there is a big object it has a gravitational field because of this gravitational field uh, which is uh, so if suppose this is object having great mass and in the space it is a huge compared to earth also it is very huge sir imagine like that so if suppose this huge body the gravitational will extend surrounding it the gravitational will extend the gravitational force of this body will act in this area so stretching far into the space the light beam if the light beam is traveling close to this body so because of this gravitational force then this light ray will bend and it is refocused somewhere else so instead of so because of this gravitation it will bend okay because of this gravitational force means gravitational this body and its gravitational force is acting like a lens okay acting like a lens so that is the reason why it is known as gravitational lens so the larger the field is the larger the object the more the mass the object has the stronger the gravitational field then the more more is the bending of the light rays okay so similarly in the case of optical lenses as the density increases bending also increases so if you see the phenomena what is the use of the gravitational lensing sir it is very simple gravitational lensing so once we know about the gravitational lensing and the concept of gravitational lensing it is used by the cosmologists uh, because it is uh, to study yeah, to study the amount of dark matter present in simple way we can say that if suppose this is in some part of universe if you take some part of universe by using the gravitational lens we can we can we can know where the galaxies are present and where they are absent if, if they are absent then it, we can say it as a dark matter okay so lensing can be used by the astronomers to determine the how much dark matter is present in the universe as a whole and how it is distributed so where are the galaxies present where is the dark space and what is the distribution of this dark space can also be found by using gravitational lensing concept so if you see the the concept of gravitational lensing yeah if you see this so if the light rays the light beam this is in like uh, if this is the distance galaxy this is the distance galaxy there is also some more cluster galaxy so if the light beam because of the galaxy cluster here this area is experiencing a great amount of gravitational field that gravitational field will bend the light rays will bend the light rays and it will help us to even look a very distant galaxy a very distant galaxy can also be observed 
because of the bending of the light rays by the gravitational field of this galaxy cluster okay so that is one thing or else you can see this uh, picture where here you have earth and here is some galaxy so if the light rays coming from this galaxy onto the earth or distorted distorted light rays why because there are so many uh, lensing i mean lensing activity has been done because of the presence of bodies or galaxies we can say because of the presence of so many galaxies galaxy cluster that is called as the light rays will bend okay so they are lensed galaxy image images will be there so that can be seen from the earth surface itself okay that is how the concept of lensing gravitational lensing works okay so this is very important so related to space concept so science and technology part that is gravitational lensing next coming to about the lucy mission lucy mission of the uh, usa nasa <coughs> pardon so this lucy mission is uh, okay so today we are reading, uh, reading about this lucy mission because in this lucy mission this has been temporarily set back it has temporarily set back because one of its solar arrays have failed to unfold okay what is mean by solar arrays it is a solar panels if uh, this is solar array this is solar array okay you know this uh, lucy mission is running based on the solar power so one of its solar array failed to unfold so that's the reason why uh the lucy's mission has been uh, set back recently uh so why okay what is this lucy mission what is the target of the lucy mission it is very simple the target of the lucy mission is to study the swarm of asteroids orbiting the jupiter okay right okay if we will look about the details of this what what is these asteroids what is this swarm of asteroids uh, orbiting the jupiter okay and uh, so if you and these asteroids are also called as jupiter trojan asteroids so trojan is a word from greek mythology means uh, means riding the horse it is called as uh, greek mythology so we can say that the these jupiter as trojan asteroids are there so this is a subject taken by this nasa's lucy mission to study so nasa's lucy mission will uh, it's a journey of 12 years it's a mission is of 12 years it will all it will travel billions of kilometers and go and uh, watch this uh, jupiter's frozen asteroids okay it will be launched in october 2022 so okay this year so in this year in october we are expecting the launch of lucy mission so it is two processes it will execute in the coming months to fully expose the unfurled solar x ray okay as of now uh, solar array we must remember that the lucy mission of nasa is going to study the asteroids around asteroids near the jupiter's orbit and it is using the solar power panels so one of the solar power panels has failed that's the reason why we are reading this today so these asteroids are also called as jupiter trojan asteroids okay now i'll show you the figure of this so if you see here if you see here the solar system in the orbit of jupiter in the orbit of jupiter you have the trojan asteroids here you have the trojan asteroids leading the jupiter and there are other group of trojan asteroids the following the jupiter so if the jupiter is revolving like this then these are leading the trojans these are the following trojans so there are huge number of many number of rocky materials that's why we say asteroid is a rocky material and at the same time we you must know that these rocky material asteroids rocky material are formed even before the formation of jupiter even before the formation of jupiter so that is how they will help us okay reading these asteroids will help us to know the material before the planet formation okay solar system before the planet formation so the means old materials so means uh, so if you see the uh, this mission lucy mission it will take 12 years and it will travel almost 6.3 billion kilometers a great distance okay to discover what is the early solar system even before the formation of the planets even before formation of the jupiters because before the formation of Jupi uh, these uh, solar system uh, planets and all before the formation of planets there are huge number of these trojan asteroids expected that it is expecting that huge number of uh, 
asteroid, I mean, asteroids were uh, there. Asteroids used to be there. So, what are the objectives of this mission? Is to what is these asteroids made up of, and uh, made up of, and as well as seek to investigate any satellites or rings that may circle the Trojan asteroids. Okay. Next, what are these asteroids and what are their functions? These asteroids are assumed to be early solar system remnants. Yes. Okay. So even before the formation of planets, early solar system remnants of these asteroids. So studying them will help us to understand the origin of the solar system as well as evolution. Right. So these asteroids are constructed with the same material that resulted in the formation of planets. Right. So when the solar system, so it is expected that solar system, we are estimating that solar system has formed some 4 billion years ago. So what is before that? So before the formation of our solar system and planets, uh, what was the materials present in the solar system? So how they resulted in the formation of the planets and all can be read once we have the idea of this Trojan asteroids. Okay. So uh, the name Lucy, the name Lucy, this is named after Lucy. This uh, name Lucy is given like uh, it is the name after a 3.2 million year old ancestor who belong to the species of hominins okay so which include humans and their ancestors okay. so the spacecraft will be launched on atlas v401 rocket so it is said that donald johnson asteroid john the name one this uh, lucy this lucy will travel towards this asteroid here only one asteroid is chosen to study only one asteroid that is known as Donald Johnson asteroid. Donald Johnson asteroid has been chosen in order to study. Okay. Now it will help us to study the composition of a diverse asteroid as well as to come to study the birth, origin, and evolution of the solar system. Okay. So moving on to the next topic that is about the details of International Finance Corporation. This international finance corporation is a part of one of the body under the World Bank. So we will see what is its functions, what is its aims and objectives and all. So here, this international finance company uh, is having the and MEDD, Med, Medical Education and Drugs Department. Both these uh, bodies have tied up to increase the public-private partnership for the healthcare efforts of the medical education in Maharashtra okay so that is how this news is the we are reading the news because this international finance corporation having a deal with Maharashtra government to encourage the PPP model in the healthcare efforts and to increase the medical education in Maharashtra and med so on behalf of Maharashtra, this medical education and drugs department is having link with International Finance Corporation. So we can say that through the public and private partnership in Maharashtra, more number of hospitals and more number of colleges are being built under the medical education and drugs department and International Finance Corporation. International Finance Corporation is going to provide the tra is uh, serving as a transaction advisors for this triple P models and also to develop the super speciality hospitals and medical education institutions so in the future we uh, we can expect more number of hospitals and more number of institutions in maharashtra with the help of international finance corporation so this corporation is a non profit organization that provides the financial assistance to the developing countries so india being the developed country yes we are going to receive this financial assistance so in maharashtra so they help them financially and also uh, helps them to expand their investment by consulting and assisting them in case of management services so it is a member of world bank group as i said this is one of the uh, body under the works under the world bank group having the headquarters in washington dc these are the facts which are important for me uh, films so it is established in 1956 under the uh, world bank group's private sector arm so it is going to increase more and more support towards the private sector in order to increase the health as well as uh, health uh, health as well as education benefits Okay, with the purpose of elevating poverty and promoting the development by investing primarily in the in for profit and commercial firms okay, commercial firms 
so it will give it will give investment it will provide investment loans to to the commercial firms in order to elevate the poverty and promote the development so it has its own executive and leadership and personnel uh, to run the day to day administration so so with the member countries or shareholders contribute to paid in capital and have the voting rights in its affairs so if you see this body the primary purpose of this international finance corporation is to provide the financial assistance to the commercial firms in developing countries okay and helping in ele uh, poverty alleviation and promoting the development so what are the responsibility since 2009 ifc was uh, mostly focused on the developmental goals okay and also for like sustainable agriculture options improving healthcare and education providing finance for micro finance and business clients improving the infrastructure aiding the small businesses and expanding the revenues investment of climate health. so these are the primary goals so if you see the goals are very clear means very uh, they all the goals are set towards the poverty elevation that means increasing the agriculture healthcare and education on one side micro finance and business clients on the other side infrastructure aid on one side so all these are helpful for the sustainable development and sustainable growth so it offers variety of loan and equity finance alternatives to help the firms manage the risk and uh, it what so it won't uh, so these loans are primarily targeting towards the private sector not the public sector so this this particular body ifc is not going to give direct loans to the uh, governments whereas it is encouraging the commercial private firms to take the loans so it only advises the government on the ways to strengthen the infrastructure and relationship to aid the growth of private sector right so when you see this international finance commission you must get into the mind that it is going to encourage the private sector okay so in all case means if you see the points mostly it only invested means mostly its target is to invest in the private sector here itself it is saying that the world banks it is a group under the world bank of private sector arm okay private sector arm okay so next the next news is about river ranching if you see the process of river ranching it is a uh, very environmental friendly and uh, uh, it's more factual rather than it is more important for prelims rather than there is a uh, you can use it in mains when you are supporting your environment related answers but as of now this river ranching process has been started by the uh, icar sifri that is central inland fisheries research institution has started the operation okay in the prayagraj region okay what is this river ranching it is very simple river ranching is introducing the fish into the rivers what is this sir already there are fish in the river what are we doing we are like it is like test tube uh, we are we, uh, we are bringing them up after becoming adults then we will release them into the rivers that means supporting them in the initial stages of life and then leaving them into the rivers so here fish 10000 fish uh, fish fingerlings have been released from katla roho and mrigal species so in the ganga near the sangam nose so this initiative was made to risk and promote the fish species so here katla rohu mrigal these species are at risk of extinction that is the reason extinction that is the reason why we are promoting their growth out of the river out of the river primarily we will help them to grow then once they become adult then they will we will release okay these these particular fish were being released into the ganga right so do remember katla rohu mrigal are the fish species which are at the edge of extinction that is the reason why icar sifri are growing them okay out of the river and then introducing them into the river this particular program is known as river ranching so up government has launched the national river ranching program in 2021 itself so how does it operate so it is a method of aquaculture in which fish population is kept in first captivity so artificially we provide them ponds and we provide them food and everything artificially okay for the first few years and then 
after once they grow out, once they were grown up and become the adults we will leave them into the river then they were released and harvested as adults so into the fresh water birth place to spawn to increase so so river ranching was formed as a specific activity under the pradhan mantri matsya sabha matsya sampada yojana so matsya means fish sampada is wealth so in order to increase the fish wealth in the country in order to increase the wealth of the fish in the country pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana program has been launched right so to in order to increase augment and enhance the fish production and productivity by expanding intensifying diversifying and utilizing the land and water productively so the aim of this particular program is increasing the fish production in india so you know the national fisheries development board is going to implement this pm msy that is pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojanas nodal agency is national fisheries development board so what is the goal of program it is very simple the goal of program is to increase the fish production in the country if you see here as the population increases the protein needs are also increased that's why the river ranching program was formed in order to encourage the most eff- effective and environmentally responsible use of the fishing resources so in the word simple words we can say sustainable fisheries and biodiversity protection ecosystem service assessment will be done okay so maximizing social and economic benefits so these are the main activities of this program okay increasing sustainable fisheries biodiversity protection eco- ecosystem services assessment habitat degradation reduction maximizing the social and economic benefits for the society as a whole so it will also promote tra- traditional fisheries and trade social protection for inland communities as well as environmental sustainability okay there are tra- many traditional fishery de- families who depends upon traditional fishing fishing so it is also going to promote the traditional fisheries next uh, so what are the components under the, this matsya sabha yojana uh, matsya sampada yojana its strategy is to grow it's a long term way like uh, the total of 20000 crore has been sanctioned under the atmanirbhar bharat package okay in for the implementation of for the period of 2022 24 25 mainly focused on the benefit oriented operations in the maritime inland and aquaculture it is a cluster or area based approach rather than a national approach it preferred the cluster area based approach that means it will select this program will select few clusters in the country few areas in the country where you can increase the fish production by providing them with the necessary inputs so the goals are like increasing the fish production to 70 lakh tons by 2025 increasing the fishery exports to rupees 1000 crore by 25 must in, uh, increasing the incomes of the fishing families and reducing the ha- post harvest losses from 20 to 25 as of now it is 20 to 25% post harvest loss is there but they want to reduce it to less than 10% okay so by 55 lakhs the number of direct and indirect gainful jobs okay so this is all the goals of this particular scheme that is pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana is targeting all of the targets are for 2025 okay increasing the 70 lakh tons production 1000 crore exports incomes of families of fisheries reducing the losses from 20 to 20% to less than 10% and providing 55 lakh jobs job opportunities in this sector okay so this is all about the matsya sampada yojana as well as our river ranching program okay next fifth news and the last news for today is the weapons summit for ukraine hosted by usa yeah as you all know that the war is going on between ukraine and us uh, ukraine and russia so now usa wants to provide more and more weapons to ukraine uh, which may act as a deterrence which may act as a means strengthening ukraine may act as a deterrence towards the russia so that's the reason why in order to make it a so deter yeah it may act as a deterrence to russia's onslaught so that's the reason why us officials are meeting their friends in U- europe in germany to discuss weapons to ukraine opens to kiev 
so we know all knows that the, during because of the russian invasion of ukraine uh, almost reached the ninth week now it reached the ninth week nine weeks so almost reaching so as provoked the widespread outrage so completion of two months and it is almost entering the third month the white uh, in the western countries of europe so to provide ukraine all sort of arms okay and other type of support so in simple words if uh, if this meeting is successful then ukraine will receive more number of weapons in order to face the russian on saw on slot okay so so earlier also we have so many times discussed the concept of russian and ukraine war in when we are when i am discussing the current affairs topic so as far as possible uh, like uh, you must have means you must have an answer for the question which ever been asked on this topic because upsc may ask on uh, this topic in international relations or in even in economy because the russian uh, ukraine war is affecting the indian economy as well okay on one side and international relations on the other side and uh, what about the indian stand on so all these ideas must be um, you must have all these idea in order to answer the questions okay this is all for today thank you